Hi guys, welcome back to our three month Fit Body 2019 challenge. Today is going to be a core day and we are focusing on alternative moves and other options for each move in today's challenge. And if you haven't joined us already, head to the description box below to get your promo code for one month free to the Fit Body app, which is where the challenge is at. All right, so move number one is going to be run in place. Okay, so for an alternative, as I mentioned in past videos, the point of this first move is just to really get your heart rate up. So you wanna swap it with another move that is gonna get your heart rate up. So you can do jumping jacks, you can do burpees if you really want to, or you can just jog at a slightly slower pace. All right, now for move number two, it is going to be a plank with a downward dog. So what that is going to look like is you're going to get in a plank position, okay? And you're gonna hold this for Five seconds, five, four, three, two, one. Then you're going to push yourself back as far as you can and really lead with your hips and then return to the starting position. Five, four, three, two, one. Push back and really use your core and return. So an alternative for this move would be just to remove the downward dog component and just do um, the plank. The downward dog movement is really good for your core and it does also challenge your arms, but if it hurts for whatever reason, then just remove that component and just really focus on engaging your core through the plank. And if you're struggling with the plank, what I really want you to do, say you can only do five seconds. Do five seconds, drop, allow yourself to breathe and relax for a minute and then pick it back up, okay? So that is going to be how you're going to build up your strength to do a plank for longer seconds over time. All right, move number three is a burpee. So I know that we've gone through this before in the challenge, but for any of you that are new, so for a burpee, you jump back, you can lay down, jump up and jump. And if you don't wanna do a full burpee, if you're not quite there yet, then I want you to do a modified burpee. So what that would look like is just kneeling down, step back, step back, step up, step up, stand. If you can get the jump in there, I really would like you to, but if you can't, that's totally okay as well. But I do still want you to go through this burpee motion because as you go through it over time, you're gonna get stronger and you're gonna get faster. So if you do that first modified version, when you feel like, okay, I got this, I'm ready to go to the next step, then you can go here, jump out, maybe step up and then jump. So you can totally break it down and modify the burpee to fit your level, but I want you to challenge yourself as you notice your endurance getting better. All right, next move is going to be a one-sided bicycle crunch. So what that's going to look like is here and then you're gonna return and you're gonna keep doing it on that same side. So a normal bicycle crunch, you're alternating, okay? But with this one, you're really gonna focus on one side at a time. And some really important form cues to keep in mind with this is that you're not bringing your elbow. It's not elbow to knee, it's shoulder to knee and that is going to force you to lift up your entire upper body and really engage your core. Otherwise, if you're just doing this, you're not engaging any of your actual core muscles, all right? And if you need your head to be down, that is okay. Like that for the regular one. And here's the one-sided. All right, so, for the modified version of this, you would just do the ongoing normal bicycle crunch version. So just like this and really focus on lifting your shoulder blades off the ground. That's gonna really help you lead with that shoulder. Now, if this does still feel really difficult for you, the lower your legs are to the ground, the harder it is the higher they're off the ground, a little bit easier it is. So what I would really like you to do is before you modify to a regular bicycle crunch, try raising your legs and doing the crunch on one side with your legs higher in the air, okay? Or switch to lower legs 
but a regular bicycle crunch. All right, move number five is going to be a stiff leg deadlift. Now, as I've mentioned in other core videos, I know this isn't a traditional core move, but I really want to focus on teaching you how to engage your core in traditional moves. So you're gonna need some dumbbells. All right. So with the stiff leg deadlift, this is gonna be the move. Okay, let me go to the side. All right, so in order to engage your core in this, so this is my core relaxed, okay? Chest up. If it's relaxed and I'm bending over, I'm relaxed. Now it's engaged. Do you see that? Relax, engaged. Push back up, okay? And as you're doing this move, it's not that you're just bending over, okay? It's that you're hinging your hips back to the wall behind you and you want your dumbbells to kind of drag along your thighs and along your shins. If they're here, then you're not gonna be engaging your glutes and your hamstrings. You're just gonna be working your back, which is not the point of this move. And then of course, your core. So remember, relax, engage your core. And each time that you do a rep, let me show you from the front. Inhale, exhale. That's also when you can really engage your core even more is in that. So I really want you when you're doing these moves to forcibly exhale, because that is really going to help you engage your core. Okay, so one more time. Relaxed. Okay, my core isn't engaged. All right, now it's engaged. Inhale, exhale. And the alternative, if for whatever reason you don't wanna do a stiff leg deadlift, even though I really want you to do it, but let's say it's just not working out for you, then you can just do a squat. And we've already gone over that in another video about engaging your core with a squat. But I do want you to keep in mind that the stiff leg deadlift does engage more your glutes and your hamstrings. And with a squat, it is quad and hamstring and your glutes. So it's not as focused as stiff leg deadlift. So keep that in mind. If you have any questions on any of these moves, of course, just comment below and I will help you out and I will see you guys tomorrow.